so yeah, I think it was like five years ago. I don't know that I would, would have been using stock gnome. And then these days it's really great. <laughs> I really, I really love the experience of stock gnome. I think there's like one change I would make that I'm pushing for within the gnome design team constantly, but okay. I don't want to, I don't want to talk too much about no. Fair enough, uh, fair enough. I, the, it's a very nuanced topic and nuance is hard on the internet. Uh, I have I that. thoughts. <laughs> Did you know that? Did you know nuance is hard on the internet? Oh man, I've, uh, I've read my comments before. <laughs> uh, I have so many things I could say. I'm gonna yeah. keep my mouth shut on those topics. <laughs> uh, however, <laughs> I think uh-huh. there is room to explore the idea of why so many OSs have a dock at the bottom of the uh, of of the screen at all times. Mm-hmm. And don't make you go into like an overview to have a doc. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that like, GNOME should ship dash to doc or whatever, but like that there's there's that nuance, right? Of like I'm not saying like a doc solves all problems and like I think GNOME should have a doc. But I in user studies that we do with different things, like it, it comes up often enough. I'm like, maybe, maybe it's maybe a doc solves things that the dash in its current state doesn't, and like uh-huh. maybe we can do interesting things there. And like, I don't know. Well I was that's, looking that's my your... one secret your uh github i did notice the you blue beyond thing <laughs> yeah uh, yeah it's got dash and dog yeah it doesn't dash and dog <laughs> that's, that's like the one change i make to stock or that it's not not even the one because I, I make a couple other changes that like are gnome design things that we've talked about so every week we have a, a call mm-hmm. with like people who are working on design within the gnome community mm-hmm. and one of these like i was inspired one day um george castro who you've yeah, I don't I know talk to him yet, but... yeah. George reached out to me. He's like, "Hey, like, I don't even know." No, I post. I'm like, you know what? I would love. I would love if I could just make like my own vision for GNOME as an operating system. But like, I don't want to get into making an operating system because that's way too much work. I've been there, done that. Don't want to do it. And George's like, you know, there's this thing I've been working on called Ublue. You should <laughs> come check it out. And so he basically roped me into making an operating system without calling it an operating system. So that's what Beyond is. Mm-hmm. Uh. But yeah, so we have these weekly calls. And so like my idea with you or with Beyond was like, what if we take these things we're like talking about and saying like, could that work? Would that be interesting? And I just like shipped them. Just like warts and all. Like yeah, just yeah, yeah. ship them as is. And and the idea is get a few of my friends using it. Like I'll use it. Uh, and then we'll we'll just like bang on it and figure out what works and what doesn't work. And like it'll be yet another data point, right? It's right, not like right. the solution for user testing. Like, it's a terrible idea. But like, it's just another data point to be like, hey, what'd you think of that? Like, did you get that update today? What did you think about those little, you know, circles in the top left corner? Like, <laughs> like, oh, yeah, I was really confused by that. Or like, oh, yeah, I thought it was really slick. Or, oh, I didn't even notice it. Like, Wait. that's just more data points that are just what helpful. Are, what in are those these circles in the top left corner? <laughs> Wait, I, have, so, I don't have any clue. <laughs> I just noticed So that. the, I think the screenshots of uh beyond are outdated okay okay that was i think an extension that i had configured to try to make it look like what ended up what is likely maybe what we're currently testing i'll put it that way right what we're currently testing for upstream gnome white screen on my screen is like blasting my face out here uh so there's the the activities indicator so i don't know if you've seen anything about that i think i I saw that I think it was mentioned a bit in the in one of Tobias's talks during Guadec. Yes, uh, absolutely. He talked about like yeah, I, he I, may have talked about or oh, there's a blog post about it too. Yeah, uh, I think like OMG picked it up too and stuff. Okay, so it's false. It's out there. It's false. This indicator could just make GNOME's activities out of wait. That's a terrible title. Whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. Number. OMGLinux.com has okay, no yeah. devs may replace activities label with this indicator. Okay. And it's got a little bit of a write up there. But yeah, the idea so, is it's basically a workspace indicator right. to replace the word activities. Okay. Because I don't think anybody has ever loved the word activities. And like in the original GNOME 3 designs, the overview actually did a lot more than it does today. I don't know if you remember or if you've seen original GNOME 3 designs, but it was like there was this whole concept of this like document oriented workflow and then the people like it was like 
we're going to tap into all the APIs of all the things. And we're going to have like your chat list in the overview. And we're going to have your recent documents in the overview. It was this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Like that was GNOME 3, the original idea. And it was radical and kind of crazy. And then it has kind of like been scaled back over the years because we realized uh, maybe actually this app centric model makes sense instead of this document centric model. And so we've actually like the design has changed over the years, mm -hmm. especially like GNOME 40 and beyond. Um, but that word activities is a legacy from, I think, the original GNOME 3 designs. Right, right. Because it was right, right. all of your activities. It was all your activities, all the things you want to do on your computer. It had all your documents. It had all your people. It had all your conversations. It had all your activities. But and now, now it's it like, basically serves as a workspace indicator. It's your workspace overview, like, right, right? right? And then it's also how you get to your app launcher, right? So like it, it does basically those two things. It's, so this little three button. Here's your workspaces, here's your apps. So the, the, the dot thing is basically your what the indicator for whatever workspace you're currently on. Yeah, so the idea is it shows like if you've got, if you have, you know, a, a, a fresh, clean uh, session would have the little pill as the mm -hmm. current workspace you're on, plus it'll have one dot to the right, because that's, you always have an empty workspace to your right. So you can swipe over, use your keyboard shortcuts, and you can go over to that one. And then the little pill like blobs over, mm -hmm. and then you have a, a dot on the left to show that there's a workspace over there. Right. And so, and then as you add workspaces dynamically, more little dots show up. And so it kind of gives you this like persistent reminder of where you are. I mean, it's not a new concept. We've had like no. workspace features forever, right? Well, yeah, but like, I have a window really... manager right now. It just has numbers for each of the workspaces. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, the little numbers and little squares or whatever. Like, that's a thing. But like, this is a way to to make it almost like, almost like onboards people who don't use workspaces to the idea of workspaces. It gives them a persistent place to see like, oh, I see. I mean, we're, a lot of people are used to that like pager type, that pager type interface where like, you, know, you swipe through things and, and you've yeah, got yeah. little dots where you are. And so it's like, what if we took that idea for the whole system? I don't know, it, it's an experiment. It may, like we've done a small amount of like pretty informal user testing and it was like, I would say it was inconclusive, but it wasn't negative. <laughs> it was, was from that informal user testing we did of like, it performed no better or it performed no worse and maybe slightly better than the activities label. Mm -hmm. But also I think there's a lot of excitement around what we could do interesting dynamic things up there. Like With the previous system, there, was there an indicator of which workspace you're on just like at a glance or is it just... Nope. I, I think this, oh yeah. Having some sort of <laughs> indicator is definitely yeah, it's definitely an improvement. The the question is like, right, yeah. is this the best way to do that indicator? Right, and then also is it, does it also serve the purpose of you know to go there to get to all your stuff? Yeah, right, exactly. like because we've we've tried different icons over time of like, do you, do you do like the little grid of like apps there? Do you do like what kind of do you do a search icon? But like nothing really felt like it really conveyed because like part of it is you can you can click that and then you can just start typing. So like search in a way would be a good thing there. But like it doesn't make sense to have a search glass when like or a magnifying glass when it like goes into your overview of apps. So so the idea was like, what if we did something? I mean, you look at like modern, you know, smartphone interfaces and like the thing to get to all your places is this little line, right? Like that yeah. that's what gives you like your your overview and your that's how you get home is like this little line. It's really symbolic. It doesn't really mean anything. It's just sort and of so like was... a marker to grab onto, I guess. Yeah. And so that that's kind of the idea of why it's like a pill. We we had some ideas where it could be a wider pill. There's crazier ideas out there where what if we moved it to the bottom? Or like if you look at the phone, the phone, uh, gnome on a phone type UI stuff, like if there is a line on the bottom. So like there is some ideas of like, could that be on a desktop? Could it be up there? Could it be in the middle? Could it be the bottom? But like the first step is we know the word activities is terrible. <laughs> Does this perform at least no worse than activities? Yeah. And if so, it's probably we should probably do it if we because we have this idea of a longer term vision mm -hmm. of like more interesting things we could be doing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's the that that those are what the little dots on that. And so I think my screenshot on Beyond is like outdated because I think he uses an old extension that didn't quite work as well. But that's the idea is that it right. could be. And it could also be more dynamic and more interesting. Like over time, if we if we actually go down that route, like it could be like, I don't know. I don't know. We've had lots of random thoughts. I don't want to like promise anything out there, but like we it, it could be more interesting. Put it that way. 